Agri champion Tony Chu has been making a pivot to infrastructure in recent years with the Makati subway project in the bag. And just last month, his Greenergy Holdings set up two new subsidiaries also to focus on infrastructure projects. Let's get the lowdown from the man himself. Tony, Happy New Year and thank you so much for joining us today. Happy uh, Chinese New Year, Mimi. Okay. Tony, first of all, could you give us your take on the inflation print? 4.2% exceeding everyone's expectations and even government's target range. Uh, I know that you're into agriculture, you're into construction, into fi fintech. How does it all connect for businesses like you? Actually, higher inflation uh, is not good for the economy, uh, considering that we are currently experiencing pandemic. So higher inflation rate may may mean that uh, there is a lesser room for uh, interest rate cuts. Mm -hmm. So I guess what the, the priority should be is to contain some of the uh, um, rising prices, in particularly the commodities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So from inflation, let's go to your uh, passion these days, uh, infrastructure, building. So Green Energy just set up two new subsidiaries, Green Tunnel Boring Company, uh, which is supposed to uh, you know, deal with various infrastructure projects with government, and Green Communities Development, which will build so-called transient-oriented community development projects. Let's start with the Green Tunnel Boring Company. Are there any projects in particular that you're already eyeing for this subsidiary? So Green Tunnel Boring is a subsidiary that we form uh, anticipating a joint venture with a foreign firm to uh, dig underground tunnels connecting uh, community development projects to various mass transport uh, stations. Mm -hmm. So it will be, uh, it will be a uh, uh, underground uh, walk, walkway and uh, there, there could also be extensions uh, from the Makati subway to various uh, mm -hmm. local governments. Okay. And uh, the other subsidiary, Green Community Development uh, Corporation, is intended to form a strategic alliance or a joint venture with a big foreign uh, property development company that will build uh, transient-oriented uh, uh, community projects just like how Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, or Korea uh, is promoting their residential and commercial complex. It's uh, it's work, live, and uh, entertainment all within walking distance from subway stations or mass trans mass transit uh, stations. Okay, uh, for both of these subsidiaries, um, the joint venture foreign partners are they finalized already? Uh, we're in the very advanced stage of uh, finalizing a joint venture agreement. That's why we formed the subsidiary mm. to allow them to uh, to come in immediately as our foreign uh, strategic partner. Okay, and may I ask, Tony, where is the first community development that you plan to pursue? Of course, Makati. Oh, okay, in Makati. And how soon? Is it going to happen this year? Um... The only bottleneck right now is really the travel restrictions. So, Still the travel restrictions? Yes, okay. uh, just like the uh, subway project, I guess uh, we we could have a uh, go full blast if, if there's no pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the, te the experts, the technical team cannot uh, come on, on board uh, because of the restrictions. Now that the city has uh, assisted us in terms of securing IATF exemptions, I think they're they're coming uh, uh, after the Chinese New Year. Oh. Similarly, for our foreign uh, partners, uh, they are likely to be able to come in as soon as uh, the situation about the, the risk of uh, COVID and also the uh, mm -hmm. travel restriction eases. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you mentioned uh, the Makati subway. Uh, Philippine InfraDev is also your company, and you guys are working on the $3.5 billion Makati subway project. H how's the project coming along? Uh, will you be able to complete and begin operations as scheduled, or are the delays just too, too big? Uh, well, with this unexpected uh, pandemic uh, mm -hmm. last year until this year, uh, delays is expected, but uh, we're very optimistic. Uh, we're still catching up, uh, trying to look for ways to speed up some of the processes. So the vision of having the underground subway operating by 2025 is still intact. 
Wow, okay, still intact. What do you imagine would be the biggest challenges now aside from the travel restrictions? Are you seeing uh, supply chain bottlenecks? Any other problems there? Uh, there is there are some possible uh, uh, hiccups in terms of uh, bringing in raw materials, uh, but uh, I guess uh, we we are we're looking at the some short-term delays, but we will catch up on the latter part of the project. Okay, what gives you confidence, Tony, that these build, build, build projects will be able to pick up the slack? from last year's delays. I mean, this year you have election season coming uh, just around the corner. Uh, you've also got still the pandemic is here. Restrictions are still in place. Uh, the vaccine rollout appears to be uneven and still patchy, very uncertain. Well, from the start, we have remember our last interview, mm -hmm. you asked uh, the, the question about these uh, mega projects, uh, particularly partnership with China. And I told you that uh, big ticket projects like these are, I mean, delays are inevitable, but uh, we have incorporated the uh, allowances mm -hmm. and uh, the the tunnel boring machine, if we are able to bring in um, extra units, uh, that will speed up the process. So from the arrival of the tunnel boring machine, I guess uh, we can uh, achieve the completion of the project within 36 months. This is for the Makati subway project? Yes. Okay. Yes, this is for the Makati subway project. And similarly, uh, for Green Energy, as soon as our strategic uh, foreign partner brings in the tunnel boring machine, uh, we, will, we will actually uh, go ahead with building transient-oriented uh, mm -hmm. community projects uh, surrounding the subway and also connecting to the other local governments. I'm very curious, uh, Tony, these uh, strategic partners that you're bringing in for both new subsidiaries, are they from China or from other Asian countries? Um, from other Asian countries. Oh, okay, okay, got that. Can you share which countries? Uh, well, they have similar eyes like us. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, so before we let you go, Tony, another exciting um, ventures that you've been in. I, I, I remember around September last year, you bought a 51% stake in an Australian marijuana company, Yakuru. Uh, yes. Uh, very uh, curious what's a, happened to that investment. Well, we had some uh, good tailwinds uh, this week. The mm. Australian government has approved over-the-counter sale of uh, CBD oil. Okay. Um, I invest in this project because I believe in its uh, medicinal value. Yes. Uh, we're not into recreational uh, marijuana. We're only into medicinal marijuana, which could mm. produce the CBD oil. Mm. And uh, we're, we want to be the first mover in the Philippines. Uh, so, how soon? Uh, uh, I guess the Congress, uh, Congress and Senate are both pushing for the bill. So once it's uh, completed and the IRR is out, we will be able to bring in the first batch of CBD oil from uh, Australia for our Filipino consumers. Okay, and this investment in biotech, given what we've been through with the pandemic, clearly has highlighted the premium on health. Are you inclined to up your game in the field of biotech and medicine, Tony? Definitely. Uh, the CBD oil is one of our it's just our first uh, step towards learning about uh the biotech industry but i believe moving forward what green energy is going to do is uh the few uh major pillars one is the green infrastructure mm -hmm. the other one is uh biotech that will uh, uh focus on health and then uh of course we have our food and agri uh investment mm -hmm. Plus, uh, the most important uh, project that is, I mean, the lowest hanging fruit for uh, green energy would be our fintech, the digitalization projects, uh, whether it's from the agri sector or from uh, the electronic payment system. Tony, you're going to be an even busier man uh, moving forward. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can join us again when you've got more updates on these developments. Thank you for joining us. Very soon. Thank you.